This game contains disturbing images and scenes of explicit violence, gore, self-harm, sexual harassment, animal cruelty, body horror, mental illness, flashing images, and drug usage. Oh, okay, so uh, be prepared for all of that. Everything's fine. What is this, a mori? It feels like heaven. Oh, that's already creepy. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. It's a cat. It's Mr. Midnight, my best friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. Okay, slow down. You're going a bit too fast for my reading comprehension. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Look at the cat. Oh my God. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. That cat is so me. That's how I eat cereal. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight, but something feels real bad. Hello? A strange creature outside my door. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer and closer. Don't go into your parents' room at night. You're not going to like what you find. Oh, mom, dad. Uh-oh, please don't. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Mommy, daddy. Oh no! Oh, oh, this is. Wait, where's there a pentagram? Oh god, that's not what I meant when I said that's not what you're gonna like to see. Hey, the cat survived. Hello? Oh, hello. Wait, this art style is interesting. It's so grotesque, but like in a good way. Fran, how do you feel? I really want to know who killed my parents. I'll find my cat and the killer. The cat's gone. All right, we know what our mission is for this. Find the cat. There's a little package for you. Is it my happy pills? Oh, I'm actually meant to click it. I was just like, I was waiting for her to do it myself. This was my mother's purse. Here is the purse you like so much. I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them <laughs> with other things. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. I'm worried too. I thought there would be happy pills in there. I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and I'm still here. Stop it. You're out of control, young lady. What the f- She didn't do anything. She was just a little angry. It's time for your new medicine. Let's go. It's called du duotine. Du du duotine. And it'll make you feel very relaxed. Hey, friend, take your medicine. Can I just leave? You know what? You can't make me. I'm out of here. Get it. Excuse me, lady. Oh, I took them by mistake. Okay, that's fine. I don't feel good. Oh, no. What? Ew, what is that? What is that creature? Wait, these don't seem like very happy pills. Don't let her take this ever again. Well, joke's on you. I just slipped like 10 of them in my pocket. Beware, friend, bro. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Who is this? Oh, I'm crying blood. Meow, meow. Fran, Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. Hello, you can talk? I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. All right, we're gonna have to listen to the hallucinations. Chapter one, my sober day. What a way to make your patients feel at home. Have a creepy clown on the wall. Frambo Dagenhart, age 10, gender, female. History, the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Detail was omitted. Was I not found in a forest? You know, I can tell this is unrealistic because back then she would have had a lobotomy by now. Red and tiny, you were hiding from me. Is that the cat? It kind of looks like Benjamin from Little Miss Fortune. That's kind of funny. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. Run. More psychotic children. Hang on. Can I steal from him? What's this treasure box? Uh, use. A key. This will certainly open something. Oh, sweet. All right. You don't need this, right, Tim? No, Phil, you know any way out? There are many ways out. All right. Ever ominous, but everything seems to be locked. Indeed. But the office is the key. I saw the doctor write a secret code. Do you know what it was? He doesn't want me to tell you. Oh, come on. Phil, Tim, whatever your name is. We're friends. Who? Him. Hello? Who the f- <laughs> All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my game. Oh, you know, I thought it was like a doctor. And no one will help you escape. Did we just have a shared hallucination? Can I go into this? Locked. <gasps> oh, oh, I know what, I know what unlocks it, what unlocks things. Oh, a family photo. Wait, why do the parents look so normal? <laughs> and then Fran just looks like bugged out of her mind. Okay, what was the other thing? Oh, a hair clip. 10 year olds know how to lock pick, right? It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. You're nothing but trouble.
devil. What is it? I broke the curtains. I had to fix this. Follow me. No, I want to see what you're writing. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. Shocker, who would have guessed that? Some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness, not trusting other people or feeling safe in the world. Drawing of the brain, the frontal lobe. See, that's the big issue. See, what we need to do here is just kind of get rid of that area and we'll be fine. I'll keep these patches to stop bleeding. Oh, good. That's good. I think this is where medicine is, but it's locked. Well, we can take that anyway. In what case would you need this in a child's hospital. Little Phil was getting a little bit too wild over there. A H. What does that mean? A B C D E F G. H. <gasps> Whoa. A B C D E five. Let's go. What's going on with Phil? That is horrifying. Are these the fates? Fran, I need you to go down here. Wait, is that Aunt Grace? I want to take her home now. Fran's mental condition isn't stable yet. You don't understand her. She's a very special girl. Benjamin, no! It was not me. Okay, it definitely was me then, right? I killed, Fran killed the parents and then I, cause I had like a mental breakdown or some shit. I'm going home tonight. Yeah, don't let anyone stop you, especially not some sort of health medical examiner. To happiness, yay! Hi, are you happiness? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. The king likes hello drawings oh hello kitty cat mr midnight you're back you're my beloved friend bit bit broom you see them you do right what the creatures that follow everyone i can't see them but i know they're there a crown i want to fire crayon i draw all the time what are you drawing can i grab a crayon that's mine my crayons yoink i just want i just want one you're being unfair dude you have so many when i can't draw i hurt myself then comes the red milk look wait no don't do that uh Oh, please cure me. Yes, and stop the red milk. I got you, girly. I've got band-aids. Have these. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Oh, there's the doctor again. Did you break out of your room? That's not nice, Fran. You'd literally tie me down on a bed. Don't eat now. Then get back to bed. I reckon we could just, you know, give him a little... Quick, go. Oh, look, a key. So how is she seeing this? Is it like another dimension? Is it like all in her head? Maybe this is the real world. Hello, random child. Are you all right? The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. Is that lobotomy going to come true? Oh, he's had his brains eaten. Hey, what if I take a pill in this room? hide your pain oh i was gonna say it's actually not that bad but that was actually pretty bad is that a croissant cinnamon bud mounting in my mouth wait that sounds so good here do you want this jason would you please kill me please yeah sure okay bang you're dead thank you i can't talk now i'm dead oh a cane i could take that don't touch my sword i didn't know it was yours my bad bro my bad wait you should bow and speak clearly to me i'm your king i think i have something for you i can give him a drawing that's what he wanted right bring me a castle and a horse only then will i grant you my sword combine with the paper i'll draw something special for the king here have this buddy exactly what i dreamt of oh that's so sweet you can take my sword now i can use it to whack the doctor if he comes back can i just smack him over the head with it sometimes things just don't work all right well you, you at least give it a try you know i can give you the magical stuff drugs more drugs wait can i combine these a magical cake a sleepy sleepy cake wait this is exactly what i wanted to do excuse me sir would you like this totally safe cinnamon bun wait what is this the pink sash is mine now wait i was meant to grab this how was i meant to know to grab that now i just have a, a hook rope fantastic okay can i oh what the no, i can reach a high hey hey give me that you can't take that key damn it you bastard i will get it back i will do whatever you want i'll never leave this chair all right i'm getting that gun hey cladis would you do me a favor sure anything but bring coffee to the guard that's what i've been trying to do well well i'll just happen to take the coffee to the guard miss here's your hot hot coffee sir throw it in his face friend oops i told you finally we can grab these keys mental health global week did they even know what mental health was back in 1944 dr marcel turn off the alarm from the security system panel and reception the yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates alarm code december 17th july 25th oh hello what the hell phil a forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives i wonder who he could be talking about don't close it okay phil there was no need <laughs> what the hell was that um Oh, oh, there we go. The vent opened. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Creepy Hand. Well, don't fall. Wait, 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 wait. Don't fall. 
Don't f wait, watch it, Fran. Do you dumbass? A bunch of skulls? You really lose your head in this place. <laughs> she, at least she kept her humor, you know? Let's go! Ectoplomatin dose up to 1700 MCG. Change the container so it looks like an approved variant of duotine what the hell i'm not taking duotine you know what i'm not sure that's legal i have this key can i use it on this i can hey why is there blood in the oh if you struggle you know that it was i i will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry if you choose to disobey your cat's life will be marked oh my dear kitty we'll be together so again soon i promise i miss you my dear i miss you so much this is me when i have to leave my cats for the day why are you leaving please don't leave me alone mr midnight at the end of the maze friend i fainted again i wonder if my dreams are true so can i not go up this area you know what i'm gonna try again for the hell of it oh i can the door is open and there's blood on the walls that's always a promising sign to go through the door these look like isolated chambers patient robert clark psychosurgery procedure lobotomy they are doing lobotomies let's go i mean no that's not good but i'm just you know it's it's nice to know that it's accurate the patient woke up after reaching frontal lobe the procedure was cancelled and incompleted robert are you there what if i take a pill oh there he is he's just hanging out in the corner what if i go back to the normal room Oh, is that the horse from horsing around? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. What does that say? Squidward? No, it ward. What does that mean? Wait, the pills wore off. Frambo? No. I I haven't seen her. Shanko, Shanko, Shanko. Give her this. You give her this. I'm clever enough to find another solution. I'm not. That's the issue. You stolen key on the key holder? Fuck it. Let's do that. And there you go. Hope the nurse sees the key. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Please enter four digits. Oh, wait. The 1725. Let's try that wrong shit wait what does that say wait there's like extra 31 wait what month is july june july 7 what if you go 25 plus 7 32 december 12 plus 17 29 29 32 it's just it's just soppingly huge in my brain dude and now we're free let's go let's make a run for it H hello you little bitch i'll make you pay for what you did you clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? What? It can't be. No. It's my friend Kitty Cat to the rescue. Did you cut that man's head off? Thank you for be hitting that man, Kitty. A maze. Oh, God. He lived. Wait, this is so cute. Kitty, where did you go? Oh, 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 oh. Damn it. How did he not see me, dude? Oh, the exit. Thank you. The end of the maze, you will find the evil critters of the night. They will hunt you. They will laugh. But there will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. No! I lost the family photo? That sucks. Come on, critters. Be nice. Hand it back. Chapter 2, part 1. Curiosity symptoms? Oh my goodness. That was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. What does this look like? place look like when we're pilled up? Actually, not too bad, apart from the Mr. Burns, like, alien-looking ass thing here. What are you? Come back. You know, I want to work... I want to walk through the forest. Oh, I've always got to make sure to take the pills in every area I am, because you got to... I'm going to miss things like this key. Curiosity be damned. Can you just... Get, can you give me the key? Over the keys and towels, and it's not yours for sure. Look, person friend, we came from the south, flying as always, and one of us got curious about this key. Now all of us got stuck here, and because of our long hair, we can't get loose. We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb out our hair every time we get stuck. A filthy thief took it, our comb? Now we're stuck forever? If you find the thief and the comb, you'll get the key, deal? Uh, sure, what does he look like? It's a rat? A filthy narcissistic rat? Oh, well, I could try to open it and see what's inside. Yes, use the axe. Oh, finally, a weapon. There's no hole. What the f***? Are you the ant I saw in the documentary? What are you doing here? My cat is missing. A cat, you say? It happens that the cat was eaten, chewed up, and swallowed. What? I catch it and gave it to my beetle pig. What? What do you mean died off screen? I don't even get to finish the story with the cat. My poor beetle pig hasn't been eating food in days. Neither have I, and I'm still kicking. The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig? I'm gonna cut it open with the axe. Kill the beetle pig. He's the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I can do that. What if I use the excellent Antonio? I'm clever enough to find another solution. Damn it, I wanted the meat for myself. No, come back here, piggy. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. You don't say? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries? They live inside my house. Don't... The cat's here. No! Oh, the house is here. Hey, this is a nice house. Break the door down with the axe. Oh, I just pushed it open. That works too, I guess. You know what? I preferred the cottage core house. A pest exterminator and he's dead. This doesn't look like blueberries. The queen of meat. Oh my God. I don't know if I could show this on YouTube. Let me keep that in my pocket. Glue? Yeah, we'll sniff that later. I've climbed up. Wait, grab the meat. Perfect. Yay, flesh. What's this little blur bird box here? Do they have blueberries? This is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. And they do. Give me those. The blueberries. Ow, that hurts. What? He's got a little knife? Baby pinecone, I just knocked him over. Here's what I'm thinking. Take the axe, cut down their home. It didn't work. What's this? A door handle to handle big problems. What can we use a door handle for? This is gonna sound crazy. But what if I use this door handle on the well? Damn it. I thought it might I thought I thought it might make it I thought it might make a house of some kind. Do the ants want this meat? They do. Okay, let me grab that. A hunter's bag. A rat trap. Wait, what was this? Worn ticket and a rat trap. Oh, wait, some glue on the handle? Where should I paste it? I'm thinking that goes on the well. Sorry, I'll come back to these rats. This won't work. But it just makes so much sense. Use trap on floor? I just didn't know you could place things on the floor. Baby pinecone, uh, prepare to say goodbye to daddy. Now the mum is heading me? God damn it, everyone in this house is so brutal. They don't even care that dad over here is just dying. I'm telling you, just use the fucking axe. Push the baby over. Now grab it. Let's go! Come here, Mr. Piggy. Yum, yum, yum. Now go to sleepy buys. Ooh, it was a f***ing rat. Wait, I need that rat. I'm not very fond of cats, you know? I'm not very fond on you. Squish it. What if I drew an entrance on the well and then use the door? God damn it, it can't be done. Okay. What? I can make something out of this? It looks like a door? Are you f***ing kidding? How was I meant to know to grab that, dude? All right, let's... There we go, fine. There's a door. Now we can go through. Did you steal a comb? Oh, finally. Can I have it, please? Can you please comb my hair first? Sure, I actually like rats, so I'm keen to... I'm, I'll do that. That's quite wholesome. I'll get your hair out. Don't worry about it. Look how happy they are. Give me the key. Thank you. Now we can go through the well. It worked. Woohoo! <laughs> it took so much. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. This is so Alice in Wonderland core. Mr. Midnight, are you here? No, nope, it's just a hand with a tongue in it. Chapter two, part two, double personality. Oh my goodness. Where am I? Literally, where am I? Oh my God, am I dead? What is that? Is that me? Those girls, they took my kitty. Wait, a knife. Take the knife. That's what I've been waiting for. A shank weapon. Oh, we can take the baking soda. Okay, you really just have to click everything in this game. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara, and Mia. You know what? I could probably live a good, happy life down here. Hey, what if I take a pill here? Wow, I did not expect that one to happen. What? I'm in the well. Oh, I'm in the well. Public pools be like, <laughs> yeah, that's piss down there. What happens if I climb up? I can't get up from here. I need a bridge. There's a note. Creepy girls. Hey, you guys had one body beforehand, didn't you? Now grab this broom. All right, so they're big doll fans. Tweezers? A baby? Okay, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not ready for that. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Meow. Meow, meow. Kitty! It actually is the kitty! After those people took me away into the woods, I, I tried to follow them, but after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. I I I'll open it up. I'll get you out of there. Can I ask you something? Oh god, it always sucks when a friend tells you. I need to tell you something. Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. Are we like spirit animals connected through the brain? You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. What? I think somebody was helping us get together. What? Also, my cat can talk? Sorry, I just kind of realized this is a talking cat. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. A talking cat who's also like a psychic? The medicine really helped, even though I saw things I wish I hadn't. But who gave you that medicine? Listen, my dear. Dr. Dern in the evil place. Fran, I heard a noise. I'll see what it is. I'll try and find the key to free you, all right? Hello? 
Is someone home? Oh, it's you. What's in the drawer? Candles to light up the darkness. Hi, girlies. You scared me. I thought nobody was living here. Hey, is that an old photo of you guys? What happened? Fran Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. You really want to know who killed them, right? How do you know? How do you know this? Hey, those Skittles? Sorry, sorry. I gotta stay on, on track. You haven't asked about your cat yet. Mr. Midnight. Oh, so you actually know he's my cat and then you still took him away from me. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. Oh, she's getting cross with me. Or they're getting cross with me. Before we set him free, tell us how you came here. I took some magic pills and now I'm here. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old. 10 and a half, actually. We're 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. Uh, no. What the fuck? weirdos uh just open the cage you haven't even asked our names that's not polite and you shouldn't wander around someone's house without permission i have a knife you know are you crying because if you are you'll get in trouble if you don't do exactly as we say you and your cat will die we need you to perform a magic spell on us here's the recipe be careful and precise oh my god summon the old lost body couldn't i just make you guys like pancakes or something lost in darkness lost in tears your body becomes alive through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow you will need the heart of a frog the head of a young virgin hair and blood from a black cat a pentagram made from ash and the burnt body of a fox doesn't sound too appetizing do it yourselves. Yeah, losers. We can't do it. It would kill us. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how? One night, a long time ago, something appeared before us. We thought it was an angel, but it wasn't. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we'll do that later when we're no longer attached to each other. And he'll regret it. I mean, I have a knife. We can just kind of like, you know, like right down the middle. We're going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual. In the in the meantime, you can go talk to your cat. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? What's this way? A ghost girl and a dead body. This mirror isn't doing its job. Wait, what the hell? It has a little keyhole. Oh my God, it does have a keyhole. Oh, hello, sir. Yeah, you're new. Oh, he's gone. He opened the window. Maybe I could go outside? A frog, kill it. Hey, you. Oh, he speaks. You're in great danger. Don't trust the girls. I'm a toad and I know I can swim away from this place, but they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically return. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Uh, yeah, it was kind of hard to miss. Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Okay, well, that was her, and I'm I'm built different, so I think I'll be fine. A vase to put flour? It has ashes in it? Wait, that's perfect. I need that. I need ashes. Surely we can find this girl's head and use it in the spell, right? I've got a stupid idea. The stupid idea worked. Damn it. Can you click those boards? Boards? Everything just looks like a background piece. There we go. Now I can cut this down with the knife I found. Yay. Oh, okay. That's fine. It just exploded its insides. Thank God. I can't touch the bottle. It really burns. What do you mean it burns? What the f do you mean? How did the teaser? Okay, sure. Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the executor of the ritual. That's me. I'm the executor. Five black candles. Ash to form a pentagram. We have those. A blue bloomed moonlight rose. Salt and pepper. And hair from the person you want to bewitch. So, Pepper, it looks like a seed. That is disgusting. That is grossing me out so much. I have really bad, like, trypophobia or whatever it's called. Called. I think we have to plant this. Use Moonlight Seed on Moonlight Reflection. Look at it grow. And we have a blue rose. Nice. Okay, that one was actually quite quick. Now we just need hair from the person to bewitch. Well, who do we want to bewitch? The girlies, right? Maybe we're trying to bewitch me. Do I have scissors? That's not what I meant to do. Oh, great. We have some blood, though. We should fill up the cauldron with the water. Because then we can tell the sisters that we're, like, ready to go. And then we can make them come here and do the ritual and then cut off their heads. Okay, okay. We've got the ashes down. We've got the pentagram. Why would this... How would you ever figure that out? Summon the old lost body here from your head. I think you need help getting rid of that bag. Oh, I can do that for you. Is that the head? So they already had that for me. Oh, they at least know they were being productive. You didn't see me. Bye. 
He's gonna eat that head. That's his dinner, dude. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Here, you say? No hair is needed. You must have forgotten, dumbasses. Two brains and neither of them work, huh? Thanks. I'm gonna kill them. The rose goes into the boiling water. Salt and pepper goes into the boiling water. Hair from the person we wanna be bewitch goes in the boiling water. Now the candles are lit and the cauldron is done. I think we just throw the boiling water in their eyes. Oh, it didn't it wasn't even boiling. It was like lukewarm at this point. Now I'll say the words. That isn't the right spell. You tricked us. L plus should have been paying attention plus um ratio. Oh, oh I thought we were summoning a good guy. Oh, they did. Yay, we got a key. Yay. Finally, let's go get my damn cat, dude. What should be the wrong key? What is it, friend? Open the cage. The key doesn't fit. <laughs> I knew it. Fine, we'll go to the mirror. I won't even try that. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Use twin's key on lock. Oh, I, I must have not pressed it. Oh, I have to do a whole puzzle now. <laughs> Okay, okay, thank f What the hell was that? Yay, children, dead children. Give me this f key, dude. Sister promise we Clara and Maya Bella have it. Promise to revenge the unfair destiny it would decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. Um, you're dead now. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. And you girls were weak. Give me those drugs and then give me this, give me the, give me this, give me this thing. Thank God. Yay, kitty cat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm tiny. Even though my body is quite malleable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. What if we just threw some baking powder on the toad? I'm not a bakery bun, but you're all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. Wait, how does that work? How was that, that, that the answer? Oh my God. Oh, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Oh, yay. We got the family photo back in this book was with a two. Oh yay awesome he's all slimy are we playing f***ing frogger yay dead people a mother and a baby fantastic oh it's ramir no hold on i can't hold on anymore i don't want to die kitty do something grow opposable thumbs you won't die my friend you can do it jump Hold on, kitty! I got you. No! Oh, well, at least the cat didn't die. Oh, the cat came with me. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall, and after the pain, we will always rise. Who grabbed me? Did the cat actually grow, grow opposable thumbs? Oh, no, it was Aunt Grace. Oh, dear Aunt Grace. Don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here? You're going to leave me all alone like my mother and father did. But you killed them. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will understand soon. Aunt Grace, no. Don't go. Please. Oh, where'd you come from, Fran? It's time for your new medicine. No. Where am I? Fr Fran? Where, where are you? Am I the cat now? Oh my god, I'm the cat. She just disappeared in her boots. Ah, oh, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, you evil thing. Kitty, kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran, my darling, is that you? It, it can't be. What the f***? That's Fran. Fran, you are a tree. What? But how? Oh my dear, this is the end of the line. Oh my god, it's tree people UFOs. Stop attacking me, please. I mean, no harm. Did you just speak it? What are you saying to me, dude? Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about it. If I press tab, it tells me what to look at. Oh my god, this could have been so useful for the first three hours of this game. What are these, crystals? Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. Meow, 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 meow. I like to imagine that the whole way through this, the cat's just going meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. And then um, I'm just making it up in my head that he's speaking. I see my friend's purse. I know, let's go grab it. I have to reach it somehow. I th there's a bridge in front of you. Let's go grab it. I Use crystal like on cogs. Yeah, let's see if that works. Now we can grab the purse. Then now show this gentleman who is attacking me my family photo. Maybe he understands what a human is. I mean, he's attacking a tree. I don't know if he has any concept of a person. Where are you taking me, sir, vegetable? Oh, I'm sorry, Fran. I think you're gonna be wood fire, dude. They want to help you. I can feel it. I don't trust a cat.
Oh, wait. Oh, we flew away. Oh, so that's how the boat went, ended up on the land. Chapter three, vegetative state. Welcome, creature. My name is Zaya. Do you speak human? Wait, you speak human? Why were you not speaking human beforehand? Please forgive my friend if he scared you. I think it was more that he was attacking me. Ooh. Blue little dust? Is that a strawberry? Strawberries don't grow on trees. You are good. No doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the bow family tree. <laughs> oh, see, he's getting in on it now. Family tree. Like, I guess you could say it's rooted in my ancestry. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat. Protector of gates. You can see all that? Yeah, what, you, what is the seed telling you? Be quiet. Oh, okay, sorry. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody. Except for for one. You're making me dizzy. Yeah, spin it around to make sense, carrot man. You're not supposed to be here, Fran. Well, yeah, I know that. I don't think I'm meant to be a tree either. We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. What? I, there must be a way. Am I dead or something? I could just not tell people. Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, did, when you no longer exist? Death is nothing more than the absence of love. I mean, that's a beautiful quote, but I think death is like the absence of a beating heart. Little cat, come close. Do oh, you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. I swear to God, if he touches this cat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my bark out. Are you the king? <laughs> you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ethrista. Ethrista. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I feel like this conversation is just going in a circle. Like, bro, will you help me or not? I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's up to you to walk through it. Oh my God finally. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. For God's sakes, this, di this guy is useless, honestly. I'm gonna burn this place down. One match and this whole kingdom goes down. First things first, you must be able to walk and talk on this land. Oh, God. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must understand our language first. Eat this fruit. Oh, Oh, do you understand what I'm saying, little human lady? Ew, you're even worse when you speak English. What the hell is that? Ew. Oh, he's so tall. Where could they possibly be taking me? Oh, hello. Oh, thank you, tall roach man. Oh, it's the guy from the never ending story. My name is Palantras and I'm your doctor today. I think we could get you a pair of arms and legs, but we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? Mm, sounds promising. What is it like a fast food chain? Here we are. This place is so beautiful and peaceful. Thank you. This is my home. The spirit of the great Valkos created it as the purest water in the whole universe. In the meantime, we can talk. Oh, for God's sakes. Yapatron 5000, dude. They just keep speaking. Who is this Falcos? Oh, I guess we're finding out about the god anyway. Haven't you heard about the five realities? Oh, bro. I don't... I l listen, dude. I'm struggling in my own reality. I don't need another four of them to junk up my biz. He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. <laughs> Have a nice trip, loser. But he came to Athesta, and his blood made this water pink. Oh, Oh, so I'm just bathing in someone's lemonade juice? What brought you to a thirster? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, and, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Do you know why I became a tree? Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. What? Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. Oh, so... This is like what I see just before I die, right? Like, you know how they say just before you die, you get hallucinations and DMT and shit? So currently somewhere, I'm at the bottom of a well with my like bones and body like entirely break broken. And this is the hallucination I'm having. When you travel to Thirster, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. There is only one who wishes to poison this second reality. Oh God, are you gonna explain all five realities to me? The monster, the terrible black. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. Watch this be the most gory, horrid body shit you've ever seen. Oh wait. Oh no, I'm just a little girl now. I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think you could fix my mommy and daddy? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh.
No, they are beyond repair, Fran. Sorry. Thank you, Doctor. You'll have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. The Great One is the only one who can bring your human body back. And he has stones to help in the door that will lead you home. The Great Wizard lives up on the Great Mount Kotstrom. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Oh, so I actually just have to do all the work. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. No! We lost the pills! God damn it, dude. We lost the pills. But we still have... We still have this... We still have this damn book. Okay, let's... We'll, We'll read it. We have to finally commit and read this entire book. December 17th, 1875. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Rima, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me wants to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, Kill yourself! And I've tried, hypnotized by those words. But there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. I met a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the position of human bodies, and it said, We are born and fed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of the human mind. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to the water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. Is this the thing that we saw in the forest? February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Rima from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. Makes sense. That's basic math. I was thinking that Athesta may be, not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. Since I saw the Velocus, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. One, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth realities! November 11th, 1876. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a liquid inside it in the same spot the creature landed. I can't understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. Not dead ones though. Hidden, take note of the word, Fran. Living creatures. Please take note of that. Wait, November 20, 20, 20, 20 to 5th, 1876. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Oh, I dream of that too, but in like a cute way because I really like black cats. Beings in the thirster are varied from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Ah, fa, si, thi, if, here. It's like French. God fucking damn it. It's still going, bro. It's still going. Pandora. Creation of the five realms of essential existence. F-R-E-E. -E, resides in the human world. Third reality. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter consciousness. Practice of will. That's what I was saying. That's what I picked up before because I've got such a huge noggin. Sinicity. The end of vibration. When both ends of opposite to the same degree. Resides in the third and fourth reality. Death. Mabuka is the end of of light. March 23rd, 1877. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I spent 15 days here in Madu Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. I'm getting ready for my journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the Luciferian Luciferns. I had to become friends with them or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments that's why they look like they are growing hair in the big faces, mostly for communication purposes and to scare all their predators. That's what we saw hanging in the tree. October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. The drawing to the left looks like it's an antenna, and somebody ripped out the rest of the pages. That was a lot of information. I hope you guys are still here with me. This is a very odd clock. Good day, living creature. I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? I...
fucking i love lemons i actually love lemons so much sour things are my favorite lemonade is what i'll do with the lemons for the customers at the bar you know and we put some other stuff inside too so we can fly now that sounds like my kind of lemonade oh we're here i thought the guy was meant to be up here kitty help me wait what do these do there's an arrow in there. Does that have something to do with the clock that we saw earlier? Okay, no, it doesn't. Oh, wait, there's a lever here too. I have to pull every lever I see. Something broke? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, can I do that? I need that. So you can make all kinds of metallic stuff? Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them. And Padam, I'll do it. Our cartoon already exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. <gasps> I wonder if the clock that's in the forest changes the seasons and currently it's in spring. And we need to fix the clock to make it winter so we can go to mount croton a broken clock what a disgrace you have to help me fix it i charge one big coin per clock oh shit okay so we have to get a coin this snail has a giant bag of loot hello sir can i play you at a game first to place three of the same pieces in a diagonal horizontal vertical line wins oh it's tic-tac-toe i'm actually goaded at tic-tac-toe go for the corners i'll play again i, d I will play again go for the corners go for the corners Bro's not even trying. He's not even trying. Like, he's actually not even trying. I'm three up. I am on a run. It's just too easy. Okay, that's 10 in a row. That was very clever. Good for you. You were so ass at this game, dude. Oh, oh wait, Winter. No, back to that. Back to Winter. It's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easier for you. Yeah. Oh, perfect. A little stopwatch. Wait, can everyone control the seasons? You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please. Call me Cogwind. Were you bullied in school for that name? Oh, is this the bar? Can you show me your ticket, please? Wait, I have to get a ticket. Wait, there's a cave here. <gasps> is this where the wizard is? Oh, hello. You know what? I'm actually going to come back to you. I want to go up the mountain to see if there's anything up there. Well, that was something. Sorry, sir. I'm Fran and I need your help. Is this Mount Cotrim? The king said you'd help. The stones are missing and I don't remember where they are. Oh my god, this is, it's just chore simulator, dude. Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the great wizard? Oh my god, bro, this man does, does the dementia's hitting hard, I guess. Just give me your stones. I made the most, most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. Did you put them in the hat? You know, the black shadows. The Kamalas. They try to steal them all the time. The stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles, bro. I have to do... I have to do four riddles. Place your items in the Star of Athestus on the respect. This is just what we did in the last chapter. Instead of black magic, it's white magic this time. I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. Cold blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. I have to get ice, lemon, don't know, and a feather. Oh, look, a lemon. Can I take one? Let Lemons and resources are quite limited. I can't let you take them. I swear to God, just let me fucking take a lemon. I'm going to push your ladder over. Come on, no one's looking. We need to get those lemons and we need a ticket to go inside. So we need to figure out where to get a ticket. Oh God. Oh God. Orkies, uh, let's just walk past that. I'm sure he's fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll go talk to him. Palantres, sir. This is what happened to the oxal axolotls. Wait, don't go. You know what? It's not our issue anymore. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. Oh, look, a feather. Perfect. Stop right there. Do you know the password? Why is everything in this village so secretive, dude? I will give you cash. The library password, of course. You must have it to come inside. Who knows the password? Yes, the great wizard, of course. He knows everything. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. And I don't remember any more than that. I got a fishing rod. Hello? Who are you? What? What? Did I, what? cult meeting did i walk in on come closer friend i have the one thing you desire parents who are alive oh my god it was parents that are alive my beloved daughter come closer let me feel you no no friend you're gonna walk into her mouth there is nothing to be afraid of you have to come closer friend i want to kiss you you can't be my mother she's dead you have to come closer now if you don't the big monster will come and get you. No, you're not my mummy. Leave me alone. I wonder what could be in an indicator that she's not really her mum. Maybe it's the giant monster teeth. Hey, welcome, 
come and get you. Mummy, oh, you're scaring me. Mummy, stop it, please. Don't know why she sounds like an orphan from Oliver Twist. Sorry about that. Fish, we have a fishing rod. Use broken fishing rod. Oh, no, does it not have string? Can I buy a piece of string from you, sir? Use gold coins on shopkeeper. Sometimes things just don't work. How does that not work? Maybe he'll fix it? Sir, look, I found a fishing rod, but it's broken. Can you help me? Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that goes with this rod? If you give me one coin, I can give you half a hook. If you give me two coins, you'll get the entire working hook. The whole thing will cost you three coins. I can do that. Let's go. Wait, really? That costs three gold coins? Just that thing? Wait, okay, so we can put the fish hook with the broken rod now. This won't work. <laughs> just... Just give me a piece of string. I need a piece of string. Google says use the broken rod. Wait, so... I, I feel so stupid that these things don't work when I like first try them. Like I try everything else. I just have to put the broken rod onto this guy. Finally, we get the string. Who would have thought I have to put the broken rod onto the carrot person instead of giving the carrot person a golden coin or just clicking on the carrot person. Hook with the string and string and hook with the fishing rod. And now we can kill some fishies. Yay! I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Chat, what is that? sound like other than viagra because uh, my mind went to ice but i feel like that could be wrong i'm cold as i am but if you use me i'll be burning hard <gasps> matches now we just need to figure out how to get the lemons a worn ticket do i just have the ticket i won't even try that what do you mean we won't even try it just hand him the ticket what the f is the point of this ticket then exterminate it oh it's for it's for someone who i want to kill to kill the bugs well you know what i'm getting pretty close to that use bloody knife on basket finally the knife comes in handy drop drop thank god how was i i swear to god how was i meant to work that out yay we did it amazing now can you tell me everything you old fart Kotum is awakened Kotum is alive on top of the mountain he'll be waiting for you I've t you have your hat why did you not say that i had to get your hat beforehand fine i'll go get your stupid hat because you won't leave this god forsaken cave that was not there beforehand sir give me the hat please oh now you're awake my name is Kotum. do you want to know why? Because you crowed him these nuts. Am I right? <laughs> I thought I just, I need the hat. Please give it to me. I'm just like, I could probably just take it off of his head. I can't do that. I'm divorced. What? If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. You have to find another way to get home. No one in the, I thought no one in this land helps me. My wife left me. She was the one covering my top. If I take off the hat, then my magna could erupt and kill everyone, including you. Fine. I'll get her back. I will fix your marriage. She decided it was time for her to start her own island. So she broke up with me. I didn't get the chance to ask her why. I miss her so much. Fine, I'll go find this. Oh, that's just all. That's just exactly what I needed. I'm trying to save someone's marriage here. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. At this point, dude, I'll take it because I'm just getting really confused. I don't want you as my mommy. You look very scary and I don't like you. Fran, who are you talking to? Oh, she's gone. Uh, d don't worry about it, kitty cat. I, I think you're the divorcee I'm looking for, but I, I actually want to go further. Oh, wait, we can't came from this way. This is where my clothes are. Oh my god, finally I need these. I can't find my pills. That's the first thing you were looking for? Well, at least we got the clothes back because we needed those. I mean, if I saw pills on the ground, I'd probably take them too. Did you just get back with your husband? I'm begging you just so I can leave this godforsaken land. I want to go back to the twins. I'm the messenger of love. He made me very sad. Nobody has a right to make me sad. What did he do? Were you just chilling? He was so hot and I fell in love with them for that. I... He lost his flame. That's what he did. But lately, he's been cold and boring, so I felt neglected. I cried so many times. He used to grow a beautiful red flower just for me to show his love. But this year, nothing came up. And you know what? I'm the one protecting him all the time. So I want some credit for it. That's all. Would you come back if I find the flower? I guess, but I have no hope. That looks like a flower. There it is. I can't take over my hands. It has dangerous thorns. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy in this game cut it down okay here's your stupid flower rock lady can you get back to your husband now i'll see you there in winter time oh oh god oh god yo you guys you guys banging again oh i had to help oh gross i had to get all up in there look i'm 
that's not a pretty sight. And there's a hat. Thank you again. I feel nothing. I hope you and your wife go through another divorce. You are not made for each other. Just give up. Oh, my hat. I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. Yay. Yippee. Wow. A lemon. The fruit is talking to me now. It says that the book, the book of knowledge, it's in the library, but beware. The book may be hiding. So you must persist and be patient. There's a password you need to get inside. The password is, Jack, get ready to write this down. Get ready to write this down. Your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. Just wear, he's not even wearing the hat. What was the point of that? Oh no, that's just not good. Do you remember, friend? You are a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. Nutty girls must be punished. Oh, it's me. Oh, it's me human form, but I'm crying blood. Do as I say. Do as I do, Fran. Jump. Wee. Bye. I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. He kind of did, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you know what? You know what I mean? Your know, actions speak louder than words, Fran. Your eyes and ears and limited senses shut them down before learning. That was not it. What good? Why is that? Because then we can see. Come inside. We did it. I don't know how I got that right. So this is the one. The one. The two. Wait. What am I looking at? Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. We know this. One and one is two. Two and one is three. Three and two are five. Five and three is eight. So one and one is two, which is the squiggly face with one eye. Two and one is three, which is the squiggly face with two eyes. Okay, so one and one is two. Two and one is three. Three and two is five, which is an E. Three and five is eight, which is this one. And then five and eight is 12. This one. Wait, I got it wrong. Eight and five is 13, not 12. That's where I got it. Okay, eight and five is 13. That one and that one together. That's probably 13, right? Feel like I kind of bullshitted my way into that one at the end there, but that works anyway. What does it get us? A man. Can I have that book? I can't reach it. <laughs> Just give me one win. Just give me one win. I swear to God. Just give me one win. Sir, can I, can I use that? Does anything change in the seasons? Oh, okay. This person leaves. All right. Give me that. Thank you. Now grab the book. I'm so sick. Here's your stupid book. The Edward Box. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. Yay, we did it. Fish, fish, swimming free. Go back, little fish. Go back home to heaven. Oh, the fish was alive. You woke up the fish? Can you do that with other human beings, like humans? Only if the circumstances are positive, he could wake up mommy and daddy. The circumstances are often not positive. So we need to find the missing stones, yes? Fish told me that my shoes are on the amazing dancer's feet. You know where this dancer could be. I do know, I do, and I have to go get his stinky ass shoes for him from this place. Listen, see this? This isn't a ticket for the show. This is a threat. I can call an exterminator and get your ass blown wide did. Oh, there was just a hole there. Mr. Midnight, just climb on in. So now if we make it summer, look, this should be a dancer, right? Oh, it is. Oh, wait, I need those shoes. Give me them. Hey, this guy just passed out. Are you okay, buddy? I guess that's a ticket. <gasps> oh, I stole his ticket. Oh, okay. Let's get out of here and give that to Little Miss Fortune. I already let someone in with that ticket. You bring many mysteries, little lady. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. The symbols are correct, but look at the handwriting. This belongs to someone much older than you. I can see it. Draw on the ticket. I won't try that. Just forge the signature. Why can I not just forge a signature? I just had to draw on the original ticket anyway. I've already tried that. Oh my God. Okay. Amazing. Great. We've got our own ticket now. Look, sir, it's my own ticket, but you simply drew it yourself. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to walk into this stupid bar. I'm nine years old. Why? Who's not? Who doesn't let a nine-year-old into a bar by themselves? Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever little lady. Well, I guess I can let you in. Enjoy the show. I guess just being a girl worked. Hey, can I have those shoes now, please? I really need your shoes. Why? Is that these shoes belong to a dancer? Because I'm a dancer. If I have a rhythm game at the moment, this is going to go crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you just say? I want your shoes. The only way is my sh to get my shoes is to take them from me, and as you see now, I'm standing on them, so it's impossible. Lift your feet up. Oh, it can't be done. Only on the very day when both of my feet are up in the air. Let's try this London style. Give me your shoes, yeah? Give me your shoes, bruv. Come on. Can I do something to the piano? Do I have to make the metronome go like super fast? Do I have to make the beats per minute? Like that? So now, when he's dancing, is he just gonna go? Is he gonna go crazy? Oh my god. He's dead. 
Perfect. Take his shoes. Let's go. We robbed a man. Sir, sir, I have the shoes. You really have an extraordinary machine inside your head. My machine is about to break. Now let's do the last one so I can go home. I recognize this feather. It belongs to Palantras. I saw him badly injured. He'll be fine. He has the pink water. That fixes everything. <laughs> go visit the old Val Valakus machine doll. My wand will be there. Oh, finally, the giant doll comes into use. Oh, this makes so much more sense. Okay, so now that one. And now we can bring that back up. Up, and then we can grab it with the bottom hand and boom the wanders us i figured that out earlier because i have a massive huge head i can't lend you the stones those stones are very very special friend just get the knife what i can do is place the stones on the locks of the door but you you're the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door i suspect that you can't return home looking like a tree oh yeah please turn me back i haven't done this in a hundred years please don't mess it up give me your clothing i need to smell it Usually when someone like that moves into the neighborhood, you have to be told about that. This can work. We will make a human. Randomly selected elements. Wait, they were random? I couldn't just... Okay, fine. Find the path to your true essence. Become friend the human now. Yay, we're back. Oh God, Jesus Christ. I told you there would be random body horror. I knew, I knew there would be something so fucked up in this. No, not the cat. Why do you have a cat and the knife? Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. Hey, you look like me when I'm older. Are you me? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I knew it. I knew it. It's an older version of us. We kill traitors because that's what he is, friend. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised to stay by my side. As your mommy and daddy did. Who promised to take good care of you? Well, my theory is still that she killed the parents. Wake up, friend. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave my friends alone. I'm the only one you have, friend. I'm the only one who's always by your side. Now let's get rid of this traitor, eh? Let's be happy. Not the meow meow. Not the meow meow. No. Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. <laughs> I mean, I didn't... Listen, I didn't want to say it. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't going to be the one who says it. But you're not crazy. If you were crazy, would you be talking to a giant walking tree man at the moment? No, of course not. Remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. You will always find the power to fight those monsters inside you. The human must leave. Open the secret door to a reality. Let the human return home. Oh, wow. We're going home, kitty. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, God damn it. Could you just leave me alone, dude? Like, I'm si I don't want you here. I brought the stone so this lovely creature can go home. Oh, yeah. Wait, we actually do need that. It'll be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the, uh, one of the Valakas. And she isn't ready. I see. I'm not ready for what? Place the stones. We have no time to lose. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. Yay! The infinity stones! You're the only one who can open this now. All right, let's see. You did it, friend. You can go home now. All right, bye, losers. All right, see ya. I wish I could leave something for you to remember me. We won't forget you. You're a very special creature. I almost forgot. Palantras gave me this for you. A box with writing. Before you go... You have to know, before you return to your reality, you'll pass through the secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities, and you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. So why why are you just telling me this now? Like, why are you telling me just before I'm about to go through? You're telling me this now? That's what I'm saying, Fran. And off we go, into the wilderness, where we will probably get eaten. Whoa! Oh my god, wait, it's just a game. Oh my god, it's Dino Run. I take everything back. This is what I wish the game was. Oh, look, he got stuck, <laughs> dumbass. Chapter four, part one, my imaginary friend. And here we are. Hi, friend. My goodness, the door opened. I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. It's okay. I think someone left some like jam down here for us. Oh, they're my pills. No, where are they going? I need those. I wonder why Plancha gave me this. I can't open it. Oh, okay. So we have a box we have to try to figure out. There's the bridge. I knew we were on the other side. I guess home is in that direction. Perfect. How do they know that I'm talking about my home? Wait, don't come back here. Dude, I hate when my drugs run away from me. Come on, kitty. We need to get these. Give it back to me. Oh, did I at least get the pills? Damn it, I didn't even get those. All right, let's cut ourselves out. Luckily, I carry my trusty bloody knife with me everywhere I go. <laughs> That's not the kind of thing. Fran, you're already here. I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. It's the... It's... 
the guy. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Let me introduce myself. I am Itward. Squidward? Your faithful friend. Why is this man talking to me from behind the bush? You seem familiar. And that's what I said. He seems familiar. Where have I seen this man before? I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back. Aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? They only believed it was me. Don't you recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the top hat? I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. Came to you after you imagined me. Oh, I you came out of my imagination. You're like Blue from Imaginary Friends. But I'm not imaginary. I'm part of your reality. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. What? I'm actually here to take you home. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Do I trust the man who's hiding behind the bushes to take me back home? All right. You seem nice. I'll go with you. But I don't trust you yet. Okay. All right. That's sure. Bro's got the streamer posture. <laughs> Behold, the Edward flying machine. What do you think? With this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I arrange the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. What is this about 2.35, sir? It's when time becomes slower that gives us the chance to enter the ultra reality. You can help by getting water and fire berries, all right? Uh, fine, okay. Everyone just wants me to do something for them in this game. Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Oh, thank God, give it to me. Let me pop one of these pills because we haven't actually seen into hell in a few minutes. Oh, she looks kind of familiar. <laughs> Am I nutritious? <laughs> That's the first thought you go to? I feel like I'm in the magical world of hair. Oh, is this hair? You're having a dairy bad day. Oh, it's a moose. It's not a deer. Get out of your trespassing on my territory. Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, could you get me some of those fire berries? Moose? I'm not a moose. I thought you were a deer. I'm a deedle worm. I just returned to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. Oh, down here. Here. Oh, you were in its intestinal area. I see. You're so tiny. Hello, my main name is Fran. He's kind of cute. Look, Fran thinks he's kind of cute too. Why did you touch the moose in the first place? I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire berries. I think it is possible. The moose is very sturdy and solid, but the fire berries are on fire. You might hurt yourself. Well, what if I take my pills? Then they'll be off fire. I can't just pull them off of my hands. They're firmly attached. All right, now you're making the rules up as you go. So if they're firmly attached, does that just mean we can just cut them down with our trusty bloody knife? I'm telling you, dude, a bloody knife fixes all our issues. Oh, hi, Miss Old Lady. How are you? Are you stuck? Do I need to cut you three? No, not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. I bought the fire berries. They're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. These will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. This is going to sound stupid. Can we just... I can't reach the water from here. That sounds like there's a way for us to climb down. Excuse me, lady. Can I just like cut... Can I use your hair? I just had to use the bucket on her. And then she just said, would you let me tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? I feel like I'm... Starting to actually figure out this game. All right, we're happy you tie the bucket really tight. Let's go. Okay, so now we can just pull it up. Perfect. Okay, so we have a bucket full of water now. Thank you, creepy old lady. Here's a bucket full of water. It's 2.34. The journey is about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. Hurry up, get inside. Off we go. It's 2.36. There's a high probability of reaching the target of condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Uh, I mean, not really. I've been to like two of them so far. Oh, he's getting in his little bike. <laughs> <laughs> the machine needs some maintenance, and I think you'll do incredible work. Here are the fire berries in the water you gathered before. Okay, why did I, um, uh, why did I hand them to you if I just needed them? You'll need them to get the fuel mixed and the water pumping work again. All right, what we can, what can we check in here? Oh, his little notebook? Yeah, let's read through his diary. What is he, Quentin Tarantino? What is this? Is that foot flesh on the sole sh shoe sole? I don't know. What does this mean? Oh, this cat's here. Oh, hi, you're the one that saved me. Come back. Wait, let me speak to you. Shut up, my real cat. Wait, he's gone. Why is there a bunch of shoes here? There are many woman shoes too. Maybe Edward likes them. I don't think it's the shoes he likes. This looks like something we need to figure out for the engine. Um, all right, what is this? Oh no, this dude wants me to do chemistry. Dude, I don't know chemistry. All right, chat, write this down. Oh, maybe it would be good to connect this pink hose somewhere. Oh, wait, uh, we need hoses. Oh, 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 oh. That means we can look at this. Wait, so the second one needs to be connected to the third one. It can't be done. Why can't it be done? What the? F okay, the blue hose went there. This looks a little sus. This this guy's brought me into his trailer and now I have to cook all this up? Fran, we have to cook, Fran. Whoa! 
Oh, twin girls. Wait, girly pops. Give me that key. Thanks, girlies. The hose seems to be damaged. Okay, so take it out. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's so much more to this than I thought there was going to be. Can I put the water in here? The pump is now filled with water. Perfect. I feel like we should get some tape so that we can put them together. Is there any tape around here? Hi. I'm sorry. I'm stepping on your one of your eyeballs. Sorry. H2O goes in here. Switch goes down. Hose connects. We have to figure out what that means. A match goes in here and then we turn that. Oh, there's tape there. It was right next to the foot shoe. Oh my God. Perfect. Duct tape. You saved my life again. Let's go. Now we can turn the gas on and use the match. And it's working. Perfect. That's half of the puzzle done. <laughs> it's only taken me 20 minutes, but that's half of the puzzle done. Okay, try to recall that year 10 chemistry lessons. As far as I can remember, we need a hose that goes in between these two. R15 is the next one. There we go. Oh, there's colored. I just didn't see that color in the first one because I'm colorblind. It looks exactly the same as these. 2PF, A18. Okay, so now we need a pipe that connects these two, right? What if I take these pills? Wait, the f it was right there. I just needed to be drugged the hell up. So now we have these going. Now we just need some uh, AFM. Oh my God, there's a pipe up there. Sorry, lady, excuse me. Oh, and it's the bottom one to connect these two up. Now the last thing we need to do is use this berry, which uh, I mean, I assume we put it in here. Did we do it? Fran, we cooked Fran! Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? Get out of here. I did this all by myself. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask if you're afraid of rabbits. Deeply. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me to get rid of it? The, what the fuck what does this guy actually get up to? There. See? It's just sitting there. I don't see it. I just see blood stains and a lot of carrots. Where that thing? The the stuffed toy? See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. You just stole my cat! No! I knew I couldn't trust this man! Twins, help me! Who would have thought the man that has a pile of woman's shoes cannot be trusted? Alright, we got a carrot though, that's fine. We're replacing the cat. Look, there's numbers. Five, three, two, four. I assume that's gonna help us with something. Oh, oh, do we have a screwdriver somewhere? We have to figure out what wire to cut. Ugh. Uh, oh, look, there's another one by the skull. So it's five, three, two, one, four. So it looks like it needs a battery or something. Something's missing here. I got a crazy idea, chat. What if we put the carrot in the middle here in the battery slot? I said it was a crazy idea. I didn't say it would work. Arguably, what if I give the carrot to the giant rabbit? Now, can I steal his batteries? They didn't do anything. Five direction E shank. Okay, that's interesting. Is there anything else? Are there other ones? Eight backwards. Nine. Six. I'm so confused. Oh, I see. So it's all these ones. Five, two, three, one, eight, four. Can I wait? Can I? I haven't even, I haven't even tried this door. I just assumed it was locked. Interesting. Oh, a battery. Perfect. Okay, I should have tried the door. Okay, let's use the battery on this. Battery, and now it works. So I can turn this. Mom and Dad? What were you guys doing here? I thought you were all decapitated. Oh, no, no. That's not good. Mom, Dad, because you left me, I got into a life of hard drugs. What is this? Oh, a waterfall. Oh, we can turn it. Wait, this is one of them, like, um, uh, bank lock safe things, right? Which one do we start with? I mean, I assume you go, oh, one, two, three. Four's behind my face and five. Okay, so we start with skull. We go to this one. We go down to the carrots. Then we go to the door and then we go up to five. Eight to the right. Five to the right. Eight to the left. Six to the right. Nine to the left. Seven, eight, nine. Oh my God, I am cooking, dude. Oh my God, I'm actually cooking. Maybe I should push the button to open the door. I tried. You didn't let me. Oh, surprise. What the fuck? Is happening. Oh, a birthday party. Oh, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. Maybe Mr. Midnight is in on it with Edward. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We have something very special for you from all the members of the ship. I hope you find it educational. I hope it's not a foot because that like, that seems to be a common trend so far. I hope to God it's not a foot. 
Oh, it's a black cat. Oh, that's so cute. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra reality. Is this what happened when I take my red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like an explanation? Yeah, no, no, you know what? I don't need to know all this. You know what? Give it to me. What you have seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at these exact coordinates of time and space, we're having a birthday party. Yay, it's happiness. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. And they're just handing this out to children at insane asylums? Because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. Blow on the candles now, my dear. We're about to reach our destination. Here I go. Watch her blow out the candles and then suddenly like it all goes dark and everything goes wrong and we end up in like hell. <sighs> Told you. I, t I told you. Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, bye. W what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship doesn't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to go around right and find it fast. All right, where do we get the water? Well, I know where there. I know where there's water. Let me just grab that back. I can't clear it from the water pump. The bucket doesn't fit. Use your hands. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do anything, what does this, what does this do? The cat's tummy has a keyhole and I have the key. It can't be done. What the, what the f was the key for? If we go back to where my parents were decapitated, we can get water there. Let's go. Here, let's throw it in his eyes. <laughs> Edward, sir, we did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. Why, why not? You said we were right there. Don't you just have to, like, land the ship? We're going down. No, please. Don't tell me this. It's not fair. Oh, she's crying. I always take care of you, my dear. And the ship kept going down till it crashed. Everything was destroyed. But that's a very sad ending, Edward. Tell me another story, please. All right. This is the story of Frambo and me, when she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. I promise, Edward. I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my dear. I like the cat. The cat is so cute. Chapter 4, Part 2, Doctor's Prescription. Wait, what was that about? A moose. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, kitty, we're alive. We survived the crash. There's, like, civilization over there. Edward's gone, but he brought us home. We're just outside of town. Fran, I can smell it. I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, kitty, but I took all the pills already. See? The bottle is empty. Is it weird I don't trust the cat? Is that weird? I don't know. I love a I love a black cat, but this guy's giving me strange vibes. Oh my goodness, this is our street, kitty. And here we are. This looks so much more gray than I remember. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Oh, I forgot about Aunt Grace. Maybe she's not home, dear. Do you have the key to get inside? No, I don't have it, kitty. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. Maybe in these pots? No, just some worms. I took the key, Fran, but I'm Fran. So how could I have taken the key? You must climb up and open the door. Wish me luck. All right. Whoa, look at him climb. Couldn't we just done this from the beginning? Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's the doctor, isn't it? I've been looking for you for a long time. How did you escape? None of your business, dude. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed through the second floor window, sir. I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something important to tell her. Was it that Fran was missing for like five days? I think she's not at home, sir. You'll have to come with me then. Get the knife, Fran. I won't leave Kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. I don't believe your cat is in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door any minute. Stop it, friend face reality your cat is dead my cat's in the house he was with me you must come with me now bro get your hands off of me dude stranger stranger Okay, I don't want to hurt you or, or scare you. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I don't understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Martin and Lucia both Dagenhart were found earlier this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Homer, said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back? The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The younger the son of the family, Frambo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death? What? And then there's a photo from the crime scene. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Frambo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. So they, they're lying. They're lying. They're lying. They lied to the newspaper to say I died, but they're really keeping me in asylum. I also found out that your medicine was switched. Yeah, that we figured out 
but I'm not actually taking the medicine I meant to. Instead of take, uh, instead I'm taking the good shit. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the conscious and the subconscious mind. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will open too wide. Oh no, I was, I was popping those things back like they were Tic Tacs, dude. Oh no. That can create great confusion in your brain. I'm a bit confused, yes, but that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. Oh no, dude, she's too far gone. I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel to other worlds. Oh god, could you imagine you're in a car with a kid who just escaped an asylum and she starts spouting these things to you? You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Who is this? I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Did your father hurt with you with his knife, doctor? What? What? Who told you that? You did. Or di didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Rima. He took my parents and now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I'd stayed in, pl in a Thurster with Palantris and the Great Wizard. They don't make these names very easy. It seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good at all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. The twins? What twins? The girls who were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds Reminds me of the Clara and Maya case. The two girls in the asylum who claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. That's the exact same things that we saw. That's a big reveal. Edward, I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. It's the same creature. Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. And you just let that happen? A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into the well? Oh, fuck. That's where I went, and their ghosts were there. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for this disgrace. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Are we going grave digging? Yay! This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why Why did you bring me here? Are we going to dig up my parents? Knowing who killed them and can help us make things right. To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. Oh, are you really going to make this tenure? old girl look at the deceased corpses of her cut up parents dude this must be the shovel storage room just my luck okay so we needed to get we need to get into the shovel storage room maybe there's something we're missing this way oh a crowbar perfect Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh my god, it's the gremlin guys. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fram. Hello, little pinecone. I'm Sebastian. By the way, the tribe's collector. Wait, what are you collecting? Shovels? Can I have one? Right now, we're just trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Leather? Dude, my parents' skin is probably leather now. Last year, we used old human skin, but the beetle worms wanted it back. Damn it. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Bring me a piece of leather, and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss? Let's tear off a piece of the car that's leather right leather seats surely we can just cut open a bit of that perfect i'm sure the doctor won't mind it's an old car there you go little gremlin man now open the door oh god there's no shovel okay so what the hell was the point of this oh oh you got them oh hello sir all right Let's go digging up my dead parents. Yay. Friend, you can do the honors of opening the coffins. I don't know if this is an honor, dude. These are my dead parents. And he's like, well, friend, you wanted to see them. Well, who should we open up first? Mm, left one. Dead. Yay. All right. Well, what's in the right one? Wait, this isn't funny anymore. Mr. Midnight? Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. <laughs> oh, that's not. Oh, no, Mr. Midnight. And then mom. Oh, I don't care about the... I'm just sad about the cat. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? I don't know, dude. You go have a look. I didn't feel too comfortable looking at my parents' corpses for lo that long, you know? Fran, I told you. Your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I, I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home. I'll show you, please. All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. What? Rima! Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken them away from you. The light. The one you love. The one you respect. Mr. Midnight! And the one you desire to love you. What did you do with the weird doctor man? Oh, what happened to my face? You broken little girl, the house of madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love in darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, friend. Wake up. 
Chapter five, the house of madness. What is happening, mum? Oh no, it's Aunt Grace. I forget they're twins. <laughs> You're at home, my dear. Really, that's incredible. Oh, I'm chained up. Oh my God, bro. What in God's name? How? I'm not, I'm 10 years old. I'm not that much of a threat. Where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat. Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. I knew I couldn't trust that cat. He ran away, but what, what did he do? Your cat killed my sister and your father. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? Yeah, but he's a fucking cat. My cats can hardly kill mice. How are they meant to kill parents? But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? See, she did it. I always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Now rest, my darling. You need it. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. Oh my god, did Fran kill the parents? Little, little shining Fran. Go to bed bed and sleep tight and forget the pain inside your mind you were selected to suffer to cry and hey okay, she's kind of spitting bars out here i'm just saying but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace sleep tight my darling fran the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm, I'm just imagining things. But if that's true, how can I make contact with her? What happened to the key the girlies gave us? Where did that go? It's me and I'm dripped out. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed, this is my bed. And no, I'm not sick, but you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? Whoa, you're myself. You really are. Then this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet it with him already? He's always talking about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crash? That means you're broken. Think about it. The only way to crash into the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the eyes, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm you think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Leon's the guy who wrote the book. Can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Is there a key we can grab? Oh, there are keys. Oh, it's me and Itwood and uh, the flying scary monster thing. That's a cute drawing. That's a strange jacket and my my yellow dress perfect every accessory you need for a night out no 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 third time's a charm that one no, I knew it. Blanche just told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. I think it will help you open something. This is about the box. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by my by the ears. First, twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eyes two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. She's coming. Be quiet. Who's coming? Is she going to realize there's two friends in here? Oh, it's the nurse. Come on, friend. You gotta see the doctor now. All right, bye, friend. And we're back home. It says press the ears. Oh, these are the ears. Twice to the left, once to the right. I twice. Oh my god, I did it. What did I get? A key. A kitty cat key. The ECOG clock designed by Cogwind. Okay, so we need to make this, but I'm not really sure what for. We need some of this. That goes here. Hey, there's a key there. Can I use the knife on the wallpaper? I can. Wait, this is a cat key and this is a cat. Do you think we can use those? It does work. It's flying. Oh, to open the door. Oh, perfect. School case, nice. So that's two things. Balloons. This is outside our home. Okay, you know what? Something tells me this isn't our home. Uh, have you seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. That is, I don't know if that's my kitty cat though. I think it's Kamala. Are you all right? No, not really. I feel sad. Oh, well, maybe we can cheer him up. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. All right, what scares off for Kamala? Water, right? Water scares it off? Maybe we can fill up the water balloons and then throw it at the Kamala. Interesting. Hello giant eye you know what that looks like my eye well what is this key for can we use this one on the on door 104 another one i don't think that's appropriate miss i'm sorry but i need this key there are many doors that i wish to unlock it'd be hard to get that key out without his permission reinforce teeth i'll see what i can do i'm roberto welcome to mabuka's den you don't know who mabuka is leave now just leave but roberto sir i've i haven't been here before don't judge me for not knowing tell me who mabuka is instead so i know mabuka is the mother of darkness the darkness darkness the obscurity the end of light mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality i thought rima was king here rima the terrible black the son of darkness nobody likes him too much you should go now 
I've seen him too much. There's a phone. Wait, I know who to call. It's a fucking shitty line anyway. Oh, I didn't know this was taken. My bad. Sorry. I'm not done, mother. I'm taking another bath after this one because I stink. I'm not your mother. What the hell? Wait, so he's a stinky boy. How do we fix that? Oh, there's water. I can use water for the water balloons. And now we can go bully that guy. Bye, weird child. Hey, Dorcas, take this. You, Fran, what the f*** was that? That was the worst throw ever. Hey, Geekwad, take this. Yay! I don't feel sadness anymore. Thank you. Let me give you something in return. I hope it's a key. Oh, it's a branch. What the f*** am I gonna do? What am I gonna do with this? Okay, so what's in 104? Is there something through this way we can find? Have I ever told you guys that I'm really grossed out by eyeballs? So this game is just an experience. I am Okla, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. I hate this so much. This is disgusting me out so much. I see everything. Nothing less. Can you see my cat? It was crying from help for help from inside a cage. No, they caged up my kitty cat again. The bear of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. Feel free to take anything you need from my home. Oh, okay. Well, that's very kind of you. I'll take this hairbrush. I don't know what we could use that for, but... Look, light bulbs. Wait, we need those. A wake-up clock. A bottle with water. A soap bar. Oh, I know where there's a soap bar. That creepy skinless child had one. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It could stop all of a sudden. And that would be the... The end. I just want the soap, you weirdo. Soap. Having trouble with your hygiene? Uh, yeah, I stank big time. Can you not smell me? You've got two nostrils. All right, then. Take it. It's all yours. Oh, thank you. Look, there's a bottle over there that I need. I think we can go through this painting. Yeah, we can climb through it like we're Alice. And boom, we can grab this bottle of water. Oh, there's a little puzzle here. Insert button. Is there a button? Oh, that's a button. Now we can use it. And we got some pliers. We could use the pliers to pull out the teeth of the skull. I'm going to rip out your tooth teeth one by one. Yay, it worked. Thank you. You should have just given it to me in the, to begin with. What's a big kitty cat? Oh, a clock. I need that clock. Okay, cool. So now we just need a black glove. Oh no, it's not even a black glove. It's just one glove. And I believe I spy a glove over there. Well, that's, we've done it. So if we put everything into the back of the cat that we need, and now he's all happy. But he's, what are you doing? Oh. He built it for me. What if I brush its hair? Is that, would that make it fall? Oh, Fran is so sweet, dude. I'm such an awful human being compared to Fran. It worked. Oh, and it turned into butterflies. Feel like I need to fly away. Bye. Okay, so now we can use the stick, right? To grab this. Dude, I have nailed these last few puzzles. I'm sorry. From where I started this game to now, the progress has been crazy. Hey, you awake. Little girls in Mabuka's den always die. Okay, well, if you just keep your voice down i'll be fine jeez what if i just use this clock use weapon yeah go on yeah, we didn't even do anything we didn't even talk to her we just straight up shot her in the face as soon as we saw her oh, ah. beware of mabuka oh, it didn't work run the awakened darkness rises from the unknown oh i'm sorry to wake you in the mother mabuka but i need a favor i like how i'm like oh sorry i didn't mean to shoot you in the face with the weapon i'm frambo the human girl 11 years old and i'm very brave so you know did my son manage to enter your head already did you drink or eat some sort of red potion or beans my pills look like beans so yes I, I took a whole bottle then i cannot use violence against you the power has been unleashed oh we're unkillable anyway i hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek hey what do you mean by that you were selected by the five realms of the essential existence to be the keeper of the key there has been a lot of keys in this game the five realms of existential existence will be created parallel with time what are you talking about the keeper of the key who, who told you that the great velikus from Primeve told us everything a long time ago the keeper will be hunted by the sun of darkness up to feeding from the red seed okay well nobody told me this i feel like this would have been useful information but you're too young did something obscure happen to you yeah i killed my parents i think it was either me or my cat or aunt grace i think rima killed my parents rima how the fuck did you get rima i thought it was the cat can you imagine how that feels i'm all of those feelings frambo i am everything sinister all the darkness you can imagine then you don't care if rima killed my parents i thought you were nice go on and keep her the key be brave now i'll open my heart for you Yippee! we didn't fall down i thought it was going to be like a cartoon whoa and then we go down god damn it we're just back into the asylum oh sharon's here too hi sharon take a number with you and wait for your turn in the waiting room number seven oh i've been waiting for a week now how long has everyone else been waiting uh, i've been waiting for like 
a month, but I have number two, so I must be my turn very soon. We should get the knife out and we should force him to give us out his ticket. Exchange the tickets, dude. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. You're about to have a knife through your eye if you don't give me the ticket, dude. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you give me your ticket then? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. I need your help. Patient trouble. Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers from? Could you imagine? Imagine if he's just like, yes, stage four bowel cancer. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony. Is it possible to help him somehow? Yes, crying all the tears you can until you fill this bottle will do it. That won't be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to a thirster and be happy. But fine, take my tears. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Trying to poison me? Haha, <laughs> how lovely. Let's see. Yippee! It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted. Yay! Oh, wait, it's on number two. <laughs> this loser waited the month of his life for nothing. Do you have an appointment? You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't have sick people without an appointment. I swear to God, I'm gonna get the fucking knife out again. I swear to God, I, I'm, about to, I'm about to do it. Uh, just call me. Here's your card with my telephone number. I swear to God, I have to run straight back to that goddamn telephone that didn't let me call the police in this situation to call her to book an appointment when I already have the ticket. Our health system is in shambles. Uh, yeah, no, I, um, uh, I need to call. I'm just trying to make an appointment. Yeah, Fran, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm available now. Social security, what the fuck? Why do you need my, okay. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Okay, thank you. I hate calling the doctors, dude. I, this is why I never go to the doctors. I hate calling them up. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes. Yes, I do. Doctor, we'll see you now. Thank God. Oh, hi, Rima. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? I am Rima, the terrible black prince of darkness. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dern? I immensely enjoy seeing a suffering drip from your eyes. I feed from it. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. I won't allow you to trick me anymore tell me why why did you kill my parents why you're assuming that it was i who did such a terrible thing i saw you that night outside my window it must be you who did it you trust your eyes too much haven't you learned that human receptors are weak your body is fragile easy to corrupt it was fran how was she so good with the knife that's what I want to know. Like, she really managed to cut them like a 10 year old. That's a good, that's good. That's good knife skills, you know? It can't be. Stop it. I, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Damn, she just keeps going. She's making eye contact through the whole thing. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Oh, dude, this whole time I thought it was going to be the cat who did it. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find my kitty and leave. Dude's up to the electric chair. Oh, and Mr. Midnight. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Meow. Oh, why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. <laughs> How was that? Was that good? They untalked our kitty cat. I'll take you to Ethesta, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you. Nothing will tear us apart again. I must help Dr. Dern, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Oh, finally. Wait, is that the piss cup? I think that's a piss cup. Chat, I really need to pee. Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dern. Wake up. Are you alive, sir? What should I do to wake him up? Let's throw the piss bucket in his face. Okay, no, it won't let us. We can grab this needle, though. Red fluid? Let's use it on Dr. Dern. Maybe this will wake him up. Oh, right in the right in the neck. Ah, damn, what was that? He's like, give me another hit. It's what I cooked up in the lab, Mr. White. Fran, Bo, sir, uh, from Oswald Asylum. We we're at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I in a chair? What have you done? Could we have electrocuted him? Who the f*** is this? But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. Oh, is this the doctor? But I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? You sound just like your mother when she was young. How did you know my mom? What is happening? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. But why did you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Rima did a great job. What the f 
Like it was Rima. I mean, I mean, Fran are on the same wavelength now. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it because I'm 10 years old. I don't understand things. It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Rima all the time, but why is he hunting me? Rima is the manifestation of your weakness, a blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. Why would the monsters kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering and pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Don't do it, friend. Don't do it. Get your cat and just go to like, I don't know, like the Caribbean or some shit. Don't take my cat, dude. Don't take my cat. Oh, God damn it. Can I hit this switch? I might have just killed the doctor. Don't you fucking touch my cat. I will cut you like I cut my own mother. My dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants what's the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best, but for that, you must allow him to try to exp a little experiment on you and everything will be fine. Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Traitor, what the hell? It's just a cat. No! Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. I'm going to push her off with the cat, dude. How can you live with yourself? I hate you. Yeah, get that. Get him. Get him. Stop it, Fran. Help. Help. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Where did he get a fucking gun from? What the fucking light is? I was like, what is this old man going to do? And then just whips out his revolver. Oh, damn. I didn't think you'd pull it that quickly. Bring it to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. Oh, what the fuck? I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you all right? Okay, doc, does it look like I'm all right? Does this guy have a medical certificate? She tried to kill me. You're all right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She's sick, but she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine. Can we just roll this guy like off the cliff or something? Just give him a little like... You know, I've been waiting for this moment for many years, looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I'd have her, nothing can stop me. You didn't rely on my Tumblr sexy man. Yay, they're dead. Oh, friend, everything will be fine. Who the f are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But you're not human. Edward, I found him. My goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Mr. Midnight, you're back. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, so I'm just bleeding out down there? Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the child's innocence. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. We still have a giant hole in our torso, but we're back. What happened, Edward? Palantris, my head hurts. Friend, we must go now. All right, Dr. Dern, look. This is Edward and Palantris. I told you about them. Remember, I told you they were real. See, do you believe me now? He's under the power of Mabuka now. Oh, okay, we'll just, we really must leave now. Yeah, we'll just let him do his thing. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. Why would he not remember me? What, what, that doesn't make any sense. You finally see behind your, beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. Thank you, Palantris. Oh, let's send Dr. Dern home. And he's off to heaven. Bye, doctor. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must learn and see. That sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. There's so many things I don't know, but one thing I do know, that between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. What? They saved us. Or we didn't and we died. What was that ending? So Dr. Oswald had been controlling the family for the whole way through. I get all that stuff. Then he was working with Rima. He somehow knows Rima and he summoned the demon to work for him. Did we die and they were taking us to Athirsta? Is Fran now dead in that reality? Because no one remembers us and everyone else thinks we're dead. So now at least Fran has a happy hint ending where she's in Athirsta with a kitty cat which is all she can hope for. I like the never ending story ending that we got. <laughs>